Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. Want to continue talking some NBA basketball. All right, you guys. It seems to be official that Isaiah Thomas has been traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. Him and uh, Shannon Fry for Larry Nance Jr. and uh, Jordan Cook, if I'm not mistaken. And you have to really analyze this situation with Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas is only, what, 28, 29 years old, and he's, like, on his, what, fourth, fifth NBA team. He's been traded twice within an NBA season, and it just goes to show you that, one, he was a disaster in Cleveland, and then, two, maybe that he might possibly be the problem. Now, there had been a history about Isaiah Thomas not being a good teammate, but now it's looking like possibly he wasn't a good teammate in Cleveland and possibly he was causing a lot of problems in the locker room and Cleveland decided hey let's just cut our losses let's chalk it up to the game and get rid of this dude now the overall trade uh who they got in exchange for Isaiah Thomas uh Larry Nance Jr. and uh Jordan Clark that's solid that's not bad but will that make Cleveland a championship contender shit let alone a playoff contender at the rate Cleveland is going, they don't seem like they're even going to make the playoffs. And if they do make the playoffs, they will get knocked out in the playoffs. I do not have Cleveland going back to the finals. I truly don't. Based off the move that Cleveland made today, to be honest with you, it's really out of the Raptors and the Boston Celtics to me. It's really out of those two teams who wants to go to the finals and face either the Golden State Warriors or the Houston Rockets or possibly the San Antonio Spurs in the finals. That's it. Okay. I feel like those are, to me, the best uh, five teams in the NBA. And that's just the bottom line. What more can you say about Isaiah Thomas? He had issues in Sacramento. Uh, he might have had some issues. I don't know if he had anything thing going on in Boston, but it's obvious he had shit going on in Cleveland. Like I said, when an organization trades you pretty much midway through the season, when they just acquired you that following season, and they basically just give up on you, you have to question, is it this guy? No, you really do. You have to question, hey, is it this dude? Because look, I understand that organizations are not loyal to players. I understand that to the to the fullest. You know, most of the time, I'm pro player more than I am ownership or management. But in this particular case, Isaiah Thomas might be the problem. Because in Cleveland, it was looking like he was the problem. But... It's going to be interesting to see how uh, he gels with Lonzo Ball and, you know, how uh, Kyle Kuzma and LeBar Ball because LeBar Ball thinks he's part of the team as well. So we'll see what happens, man. But anyway, I'm out.